Another public meeting is underway in Luton this evening, designed to reassure local people ahead of this weekend's big demonstration. The march is being organised by the English Defence League in protest at what they call Islamic extremism in the area. Our Home Affairs correspondent Sally Chidzoy is in Luton now. Sally. Good evening. Well, I'm outside the Berry Park Community Centre. Inside, uh, the local people are hearing from police and council about what is going to be happening on Saturday, how it's going to be prepared. Now, of course, that's the day the English Defence uh, League have their so-called homecoming demonstration in Luton. Uh, this is the town which is the birthplace of this movement and 12,000 people are expected to attend. Now, the group has a reputation for attracting violence. Now, do we know what the EDL is and what do they want? This report from Clive Lewis. A confrontation with Islamic protesters in Luton. It sparked a movement. Born of violence, the English Defence League quickly developed a reputation for it too. In towns and cities across the UK, its march and grow strategy saw its ranks swell. But the EDL's initial opposition to simply extremist Islam now appears to have widened. The problem is Islam. The problem is embedded within Islam. It's not our fault that's the problem. It's not our fault that's the issue. It's not our fault we're saying it. It's that someone's got to look at where the hatred's coming from. It's not coming from the Sikh community. It's not coming from the Hindu community or the Jewish community. It's not coming from any other community. It's coming from the Islamic community. I'm, of course, I'm not stupid to think it's the whole, whole Islamic community, but the problem's within their community. Despite its open hostility to Islam, the EDL has gone out of its way to reject claims it's a racist organisation. We've got a Sikh division, a Hindu division, the sort of people that join our organisation are, are the worried people. And it doesn't matter whether you're gay, whether you're straight, whether you're black, whether you're brown, whether you're white, whatever you are, Mill and Islam's affecting all of us.